Welcome back watch fans. I've got another watch review today and this time it's actually a different watch and not an Ingersoll. I know almost all have been Ingersolls but today I've got something a little different. This is a request and it comes from the country of Spain. Actually I bought it from the UK but that's okay. Uh, it originates from Spain. It's a it's a Spanish uh, country. Uh, I mean, sorry, Spanish company. Sorry, I've, I've had a little bit to drink, so this may be a really bad video, but we'll see. I don't want to damage the box, but I'm really excited. I did a little bit of research on this company before I went and bought, uh, after it was recommended to me, and um, I'm excited for what I'm looking for. I wanted a diver, so that's what I ended up getting, and so we'll see. Box will, oh, it is a Festina. Very cool. I'm very excited. I have to fix that box. And it is a Vestina, um, damn it, totally forgot the name. Does it say it on here? It's upside down. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, let's see if it says in here, because I totally forgot the name, but I'll put it up already. It is the, oh gosh. All right, well, it says it right there at the bottom somewhere, right, right here. Um. Gorgeous watch. I really... Oh, here it is. The Lisbon. That's right. The Festina Lisbon Revolution. Man, and it has got some weight to it. Oh, this feels excellent. And these... Are these solid links, too? These are solid links. No, nope, stamped and rolled. Okay, it's still really nice, though. I like it. Oh, I love the case back. This is excellent. Of course, I'm going to open that up. This feels solid. Is that a screw, screw down crown? Oh, it is? Oh, yes, yeah, screw down crown. Oh, I'm so happy. See, you know, it's just these little things that make me happy. Screw down crown. Okay, I don't want to get too crazy. I want to give a little quick history about uh, about Festina. So let's watch this quick video, and then I'll go more into the watches. The Festina Corporation was originally founded in 1902 by the Studi family in Switzerland. In 1935, the brand was sold to businessman Willy Burkhard von Wilhelm, whom during World War II moved the company to re-establish itself in Barcelona, Spain. In 1975, George Ullman, an entrepreneur with a significant presence in the Spanish and Italian markets, acquired the firm. The company later changed hands again in 1984 to Miguel Rodriguez from La Línea de la Concepción, acquiring the Festina brand and all of its rights. Currently headquartered in Barcelona, Spain, the brand has remained true to its heritage and exemplifies both quality and value. Derived from the Latin festina lente, the name means make haste slowly, a phrase that according to Roman historian Suetonius is attributed to Augustus Caesar. Walk slowly if you want to arrive at a well done job sooner. Festina has continued to grow in the past several decades, acquiring numerous additional manufacturers and brands, forming what is now known as the Festina Group. These brands include Jaguar, Candino, and Perlet, which are all Swiss-made watches. The Festina brand exemplifies both lifestyle and excellence in its watch lines. In 1992, Festina became the official timekeeper of the Tour de France until 2016, having supported the race for nearly 25 years. Festina continues to remain closely linked to the world of cycling as a sponsor and timekeeper of other important cycling events, including Tour de Spain, Tour of Britain, among others. More recently, Festina hired actor Gerard Butler as an ambassador of brand and image of its campaigns worldwide. This has positioned the brand towards the prestigious lifestyle. Elegance, strength, distinction, and charisma are the qualities representative of the Festina brand. All right, so I hope that short video was informative. Uh, I just realized I had kind of forgotten to go over some of the things that I got here. Um, this manual is one of the things that came with it. It also has the uh, the warranty information on it. Um, it's all in, well, most of it's in English, okay, good. Uh, but it, it explains a lot about the watch, um, you know, typical user manual stuff. The box is nice. It's uh, <clears throat> sort of a, I don't know, 
it's not i mean it's nice but but honestly you can tell that that the money i spent really went into the watch and not the box this is just felt you know a metal band in here and this is basically just solid cardboard so you know that's fine don't even really care this watch is really what it's all about um, when I went looking for a Festina that I was going to buy, I really wanted something that was going to be, I wanted that was sort of in the style of a traditional diver, but I didn't want I didn't want something that just looked like every other diver out there. So I was actually really happy when I found this because, um, you know, when, when, when you look at the face, right, the face is, it's, it's got that traditional uh, diver styling. But it, it, it's got, you know, a really pretty blue face, but then offset by this really nice, and this looks plastic, but this is metal. This is not painted black plastic. This is nice metal. I, I wish you could kind of get um, sort of a feeling for what this is. This strap, although it's stamped and rolled, feels better than my, my Wenger Seaforce. And, and don't get me wrong, I love the Wenger Seaforce, but this strap feels better even though it's, it's uh, stamped and rolled. Um, the, the case is nice and solid. This has some good weight to it and I'll measure it a little bit later. I'm just trying to get all these things off. Um, but you know, as the video uh, kind of went into detail, there's a lot of history to, uh, Festina. They've, they've been around since, what is it? 1902, I think it was. Um, but they've continued to produce good quality watches, uh, for, for several years. And in particular, I'd say the past decade has been pretty spectacular for this company. Um, their watches are, are excellent. They have a, a bunch of different watches, and I'll show some of them up there. They have uh, a good line of watches that deals with cycling and actually and, and, and motorcycle uh, themed as well. Um, this, you know, I was going to get one of those, but when I saw this, right, I've got the Wenger Seaforce, which is a nice dive watch, but uh, I really wanted something that didn't have chronograph, and most of them have chronograph, and I've got so many chronographs. Almost every single watch I buy is a chronograph. But this was uh, this was something that was stylish. It was nice, and I wouldn't hesitate for a second to wear this to the beach. And so I, that's that's really what I was looking for. And they sure protect it too. There's everything on here. Um, I know it uses a Miyoto movement, and we'll go into more detail with that. Um, you could also get this uh, if you didn't want this bracelet. They also had it in a, uh, a rubber strap too, which was just as nice. It was a, a monogrammed uh, rubber strap. You know, this has on the clasp, it says Ficina. The other one has it embossed on there. Of course, you'll see that, you'll see that above. Um, very nice. Uh, in, in what I would say is that this is really the diver that I want. So I am definitely gonna keep this watch. This is something that I'm gonna wear off and keep for a long time probably if ever i mean by the time i get rid of this watch it's not even going to be uh a watch that somebody's going to actually want anymore because i will have beaten it up so much um the styling uh is spectacular and like i said this really isn't a company that i'd really heard of until it was recommended to me um and you know they they've recently uh pushed had a huge marketing push where they've actually gone with uh gerard butler and I'd be remiss if I didn't show you that video. So let's watch that video and then I'll go into some specifics about the watch. Excuse me, do you have the time? Hey. Where I watch. Where I watch. Where I watch. जिंदगी में अगर कुछ करना है तो वक्त की इज्जत करना सीखो बेटा वक्त ही तो इंसान को सब कुछ देता है वेयर अ वॉच वेयर अ वॉच वेयर अ वॉच वेयर अ वॉच व्हाई इज दिस यंग मैन नॉट वेयरिंग अ वॉच <laughs> okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, let me just get right into it. This uses a Miyota three-hand movement. 
a good, solid, reliable Japanese movement. Um, I'll put a picture of it up on the on the right. I don't want to make a separate segment about it. A good, solid, reliable movement. Uh, it will outlast this watch probably. Uh, let's see what else can I say. Let's let's go ahead and weigh this, and then I want to get uh, a loom shot as well, and the usual things that I do. Hundred and sixty point five grams. So this has got some weight to it. I like that. Uh, this bezel does turn. Very nice. <clears throat> it does have a little playback, but I don't know that that even really matters. I mean, who cares? You know, this is the watch is uh, is twenty ATM, which is uh, spectacular. Quite honestly, uh, twenty ATM, uh, twenty atmospheres. That's 200 meters. I'll put a chart right up there. Somewhere, where's my finger? Right up there. Um, that essentially will let you do pretty much anything you want. That's that's good solid snorkeling. 200 meters down, you're not going to be snorkeling more than 200 meters. That's that's uh, that it becomes scuba diving at that point. You can use this to uh, pretty much do any sports. Uh, wash your hands, take a shower whatever it is, swim in the pool, this thing is absolutely perfect. Let's go ahead and start measuring this too. I wanna to get a good measurement. I think it's a 42 millimeter case, but let's just be sure. Yeah, the bezel sticks out a little bit more. So with the bezel, it's about 42 and a half. It's about 13.1, so we'll say 13 uh, thickness. And the lug, which you could replace this if you wanted to, is 22 so it's 22 13 and 42 and a half good solid watch let's get a let's get a loom shot of this that's spectacular i love that you can see the the pip at the top and at the bottom this is great. Man, what a great watch. I really have to say, I'm glad that this is recommended to me. Um, please keep them coming because this is excellent. I, I absolutely love this. This is spectacular. Um, man, what can I say? So it, I, I had mentioned it before, but it does have a screw down crown and that's huge. You know, a lot of people really seem to fight and insist that a screw down crown has nothing to do with, uh, with water resistance, that's BS, it absolutely does. Um, a screw down crown prevents it from being popped out. Yes, it does protect the stem also, but you also compress the, uh, the gasket at the, at the end of the crown, and that is, that is imperative to getting a good seal. Like I, I have the Invicta, uh, the Invicta dive watch, and that does not have a screw down crown, so anything could pretty much, um, you know, I understand pressure builds on the watch and presses on it and keeps it in, but who's to say you're swimming and you don't just, you know, oops, they're ruined, right? So this, this prevents that. This is just absolutely spectacular watch. I mean, it looks awesome, and I'm gonna wear this the rest of the day, and I will not be putting this, on, this one up for sale. Um, thanks again. For recommending this i really appreciate it if you like this video please click like if you um are so inclined please subscribe it really helps me out and please leave a comment and let me know what you think about this watch thanks again